It seems like Norfolk Catholic senior running back Dylan Couts has been running through opposing defenses forever. After a fast start his sophomore year, he missed the last part of that season to an ankle injury. He came back with a vengeance last season and helped lead the Knights to an undefeated season and the Nebraska Class C1 state championship. That was awesome. It's something I'll never forget. We had so much fun throughout the year and I know a lot of those guys, I've been close friends with all of them and still with these guys here, so that was just fun to win that with them. Couts hasn't missed a beat this season. He rushed for 174 yards and two touchdowns in an opening season loss to Pierce, then followed that up with 273 yards and three touchdowns in a win against David City Aquinas, and had an amazing five touchdowns and 159 yards last week in a victory against St. Paul. His totals through the first three weeks of the season are 606 yards rushing and 10 rushing touchdowns. He's, you know, he gives us a, a tremendous opportunity offensively to score at any time. He, I think, I think originally as a freshman, Dylan's been blessed with a lot of speed. He was fast as a freshman, and 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 he would be able to get to the outside and get good yards for us as he got stronger, especially into that junior year. He began to be a very good inside runner and outside, and and now he can take a ball inside, break out, and and get a long run, or he can just kind of run through people and get five or six tough yards. So he he just gives us a, an opportunity to uh, be effective offensively really at any time. Football isn't the only sport Dylan excels at. He is currently the three-time defending Nebraska Class C state champion in both the 100 and the 200 meters and hopes to make it four in a row in both events in the spring. After high school, Dylan hopes to continue playing football or running track in college and to major in either accounting or engineering. But before Dylan heads off to college, there's unfinished business this season. As our team, we don't want to lose the game the rest of the year. Last year we were lucky enough to go 13-0 and play in the state championship, and we know it's not going to happen again. So we've been out here working hard every single day to try getting back in that championship game. In Norfolk, Nebraska, Travis Chin, Siouxland News.